Okay, when you're issued your laptop, uh, it will come in a carrying case, just like this one. Um, it has a handle to carry. Also comes with a shoulder strap with a pad for your shoulder on it. Um, the shoulder strap might be in one of these pockets, but it's just a quick clip-on strap. It's got a little hook on it, and you just kind of clip it on to the um, pieces on the side here. And it makes it a shoulder carrying the buckle that you can adjust the size if you need to. Um, it also has several pockets. There's one here. There is another one here. Um, it's got various planes you can put, various pockets that you can put things in. Um, if you already carry a bag back and forth um, from home to work, uh, you might be able to consolidate it into just this so that you can carry anything you need in this and not have to carry more than one bag. Um, the main pocket of the laptop case holds the laptop. Um, and the other pocket in here is your power cord. Put that aside for a second. Here's your laptop. Um, you'll notice that this case, when you get it, it is well padded. It's uh, bump resistant, crash resistant. Um, it's supposed to be designed to keep your laptop from getting jostled too badly when you're walking with it, when you're moving it around. You should always transport your laptop in this case. Um, don't use a plastic bag. Don't use a jewel bag. Um, use the case that is designed for this thing. Otherwise, you probably will end up damaging the laptop, and that would be no good. Um, the laptop is held down by a strap here. It's just a Velcro strap. I'll open the Velcro strap up, and my laptop is here. Grab it, take it out, laptop. I can close the case and put it aside. And there is my laptop. Okay, once you have your laptop out of the case, um, there are two components um, that come with the laptop. The laptop itself and the power cord. We'll talk about the power cord first. Uh, the power cord will probably be wrapped up. You can unwrap it and extend it as you need to. The uh, one section here plugs into the wall, obviously. This section here plugs into the laptop. And then you have this piece here, which you can pull out. There's a little uh, three-pronged jack here, and it just plugs in like this. You can leave it plugged in most of the time. Um, this end here plugs into the laptop. The place on the laptop that you can find this is as you're facing the laptop, so it opens this way. As you're facing the laptop, it'll be on the left-hand side, and it will be right there. This piece here plugs in right there, just like that. And then the other side will plug into the wall. All right, once you've got your laptop out of the case and uh, you've got it plugged in over here, and going off to the wall to plug in, you lift it up by grabbing a hold of the two sides of the screen and lifting it up. Your laptop is now open. Um, to turn it on, the power key is up here on the upper right hand side above the keyboard. Um, it's above the end and page down key. And to turn it on, you just push it. And you will see when you push it that that little light lights up to tell you that it is on. So if you see that light, that's how you know it's on. And now it is starting up. Okay, now we're going to talk about the right-hand side of the uh, laptop, what, uh, what options you have over here as far as connecting things and, and turning things. So, we're going to turn on its side here. The first two things we have are the headphone and the microphone. They take the same kind of plug, so it's easy to plug one into the other. So if you plug in your headphones and it don't work, make sure you've got it plugged into the right one. This one here, the front one, is the headphones. The back one is the microphones. And if you look real close here, there's uh, icons. A little picture of a headphone right there and a little picture of a microphone right there. So I've got my, my headphone jack is, is right here. I take that and I just plug it in and now the headphones are on. So that's the headphones. 
The other things you got here are USB slots. You can use those to plug in flash drives, um, things like that, um, that you would need to, to store stuff on. Anything you have a USB slot for will fit there. And the other thing on this side is the CD-ROM drive. It's a DVD DVD ROM. You can play movies on it. You can play CDs on it. You can burn CDs with it. To open it up, you hit the little button in the middle here. And it's going to pop open. The light opens up. There's your CD-ROM drive. Put your CD right there. Push it closed. Push it closed. To open it back up, you just hit the button again, and it will pop open. Okay, now we're going to talk about the left side of the laptop. So we're going to look at this side over here. So we're going to flip the laptop around so you can see what's on the left side. Uh, what you have here is another USB slot. So that's the same as it is on the other side, but I've got a flash drive here. I'm going to take my flash drive, plug it in, and that's USB slot. You can stick a flash drive in there. If you've got a USB device, you can stick it in there, or on the other side, there's two of them on the other side. Uh, this one here is an HDMI slot. If you're going to plug this into a screen, usually a TV screen, there are some projectors, but usually it's a TV screen that you want to project your laptop onto the TV screen with sound to run through the TV speakers, you can plug an HDMI cable um, in there. This one here is what you would use to plug it into a projector. So I have a projector cable here. I just take it and I line it up. See how the projector cable is triangle shaped? And this has a little triangle shape to it here. So you line those up, slide it in like that. And that's how you plug it in uh, for a projector. The other slots on here, this here is a network cable slot. You would plug a um, network cable in there. Um, the, the cables with the telephone jacks on them. Um, if you were trying to uh, if you were trying to run it without wireless, if you were someplace that didn't have wireless, or if you just wanted to plug it in, you have a network cable like this, and it just clicks into place just like that, and you push down on this to take it out. Uh, we already talked about this one. This is where you plug in the electric cord. Um, so if you've got your electric cord right there, that just plugs in there to run on the power. The last thing here is this vent. This is the uh, air vent. Um, you want to keep this open. You don't want to pile stuff up against this because with this not being open, the laptop can overheat. That's how it gets air circulating to uh, to uh, keep it cool. So don't pile papers around it, don't jam anything up against it, leave that open and let it, let it get the air circulation. So that's everything that's on the left hand side of your laptop. Alright, we're going to talk now about the front of your laptop. So we're going to take a look here at the front of the laptop. I'm going to start over here on the right hand side. Um, this right here is your speakers, your internal built in speakers. So if you're trying to play something with sound, you don't want to obstruct this because this is your speaker port. Um, the other things you can see on the front, actually, it's kind of the, the front and the, uh, the, front and the uh, top here along the top. So let's look right here. If you look along the top here, it's going to be very hard to see on the camera. Let me see if I can get it in close enough. There are several icons running along here. When you get your laptop, you'll be able to see these better. But there's several icons on the top here. We'll go over what they are. But there's a light on the front here that corresponds to each of these icons up on top. This one on the left that's lit up green right now is the power. That means it's on, which you can also tell from looking at the screen. But that tells you it's on. There is another icon here with a light corresponding. That's your battery charge. Right now the laptop isn't plugged in, so this is not lit, meaning the battery, it's working off battery. If I plug this in, it turns on, and now it's telling you that it's charging. 
the other light is a hard drive indicator. It flashes when the hard drive is running. This one here, and there's a little picture above it on the top here of an antenna, that's your wireless. This has to be on to me make your wireless work. So if you're not able to get on the network wirelessly, take a look at that light and see if it's, uh, see if it's on. If it's not, it means your wireless is off. And in a couple minutes, we're going to show you how to turn your wireless off and on. Uh, the other icons on here, this one here is your numlock. So if I turn on the numlock over here on the keyboard, that lights up. That's the numlock. This one here, the last one, and there's an icon for it up on top, that's the caps lock. So if I come over here on the keyboard and turn the caps lock on, that light lights up and the caps lock light is on. So that is what is on the, the front here of the laptop. Over here on the left hand side, this here, this slot here is a card reader, an SD slot card reader. So I've got a SD card from a camera. I can slide it right in there, push until it clicks, and now I've got the SD card in. And I can now pull pictures off of there or whatever's on the camera. If I want to take the card out, I just push it in and let it pop out, and I take the card out. So that is the front of your laptop. Okay, so now that I've showed you all of the stuff that's on the sides and the front of the computer, I'm going to show you the part where you're actually going to do the most work, and that's the keyboard. So, uh, keyboard and mouse. So, first thing we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about the mouse. Uh, these laptops, just like the laptops the kids have been using the last couple of years, come with a call a touchpad. It's this little square outline here. If you drag your finger across this, your mouse moves. Let me see if I can get this into the screen. I don't know if you can be able to see this on the video. But when the mouse pointer is right there. Right here's the mouse pointer. So when I move when I move my finger across this touchpad, the mouse moves. You can watch the mouse move right there. This button and this button are the two mouse buttons that you would normally have on a regular mouse. That's the left mouse button. That's the right mouse button. They work exactly the same as the mouse buttons on your regular mouse that you have plugged into your desktop. The keyboard is a standard keyboard, just like you have on your computer, um, just like you have on your computer in your classroom. You've got a number pad over here, just like you do in your classroom. If you want to use it as a number pad, you have to make sure the numlock key is pushed. And we talked about that a minute ago with the light turning on at the bottom here. So there's the numlock key. That's how you would type numbers. Enter. Everything else is in the same place. A couple things that are specific to laptops that your desktop doesn't have is up here along the top of the keyboard. Um, the F2 key, and I'm going to zoom the computer up here so you can see it a little better. The F2 key has a little picture of an antenna on it. That antenna matches up to the wireless down at the bottom. Now if I just push this key, it's just like hitting the F2 key. All of these F keys up here at the top have a little icon. So it says F2 with an antenna, F5 with a dark sun, F6 with a bright sun, etc. To make the key do with a little icon as opposed to just pushing F2, I need to also hit the function key. So if I wanted to turn my wireless off, I would hold down the function key and then hit F2. That turns off my wireless. And actually what I'll do here is I'll flip this over so you can see the little light by the wireless antenna, which is this one right there, is off. That's because my wireless is off. So if I was trying to connect to the network wirelessly, I wouldn't be able to do it anymore because I just turned my wireless off. You can also turn the wireless off on accident. Kids do that all the time with the laptops in the carts. Um, so if you can't get on the network, that's the first thing you want to check. Is my wireless on? If it is off, it's a toggle. If I hold down function and hit F2 again, I have just turned my wireless back on. And I'm going to flip the laptop up here again so that you can see that the wireless icon is now on. So now I can get on the network wirelessly. So that's the first thing to check to see if you can't get on the network wireless to make sure your wireless is actually turned on. There's other icons over here. This F5 has got a picture of a dark sun next to it. That is uh, dimming the screen. The bright sun, F6. So if I do function F6, that'll brighten the screen. And the rest of these, this one here, um, F8, is to toggle between a projector and a screen. Most of the time, the computer will auto sense if there's a projector hooked up and will will adjust accordingly. The only time you'll have to mess with the function key 
the function key in F8 is if for some reason the computer is not sensing that there's a projector plugged in. F9 turns this touchpad on and off. So if you were to plug in a mouse and you weren't going to use this touchpad, you could do function F9 to turn this touchpad off. So you could lay your hand here without messing with your mouse and things like that. Function F10, a little picture of a, hard to see on the camera there, but there's a picture of a uh, speaker with an X through it that mutes your computer. So if you want to mute your computer real quick, instead of having to click on the icon on the screen and, and shrink the sound down, you could just mute it right here. Then unmute it again when you're done. Function F11 has a picture of a speaker with a single sound wave coming out of it. And F12 has a speaker with several sound waves coming out of it. Um, that would make it quieter or big, uh, louder. So if I held down function, held down function, and F11, I'd be turning the volume down, tap, 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 so I'll fun hold down function with my right, left hand, and hit F11 with my right hand, tap, 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 turn it down, F12, tap, 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 turn it up. Um, that's the big difference between the laptops that you're getting and the desktops you've been using. Most of the rest of these keys, the letter keys, and the shift key, and the caps lock, and the tab, all those keys are, pr are, are the same that you're used to. They might be in a little bit different places, like the delete key I think is different on these that laptops than it is on a standard desktop keyboard. But for the most part, you'll get used to where the keys are and how they work and just like on your desktops. The ones that you want to pay attention to on the keyboard really are the ones up top here and the little icons that go with them and the function key that you would use in order to use those little icons. So that is the differences in your keyboard. And the last thing we're going to talk about here, um, about these laptops, is the microphone and the camera. These computers come with a camera. Um, you can Skype, you can record video. Um, the camera is right up here at the top. It's this little black square and it's just a little camera and it, it'll feed into any webcam software that you might have. Um, if you Skype or things like that, you can, you can use the camera. Right next to the camera, there's a little light and it's not lit now because my camera isn't on but that light will light up green when the camera is active so if you're trying to record something and that light isn't lit you know the camera's not on um, so that's what that is and then over here there's another little tiny hole that's the built-in microphone so you can plug in an external microphone if you really need to have high quality sound but if you're just looking to you know, video chat or, or, or just record something real quick there is a microphone it's not a bad one either it's got some pretty nice sound to it there's a microphone built in up here at the top um, so you got the camera the camera light indicator and the microphone up on the top We're going to go over now a uh, few tips and tricks, do's and don'ts um, for the care and use of your laptop. Don't leave in a vehicle. Don't leave it in your car overnight. Don't leave it in your car when you're going into school. Um, get it out of there. Um, in the summer, the sun beats down on it. It gets hot in there. Um, that'll damage it. In the winter, it gets cold in there. That'll damage it. Well, get it out of there. Use your car to transport it, not to store it. Don't leave unattended. Um, that counts in your vehicle. Get it ripped off. Get it stolen. Don't do that. Don't place on the floor or a seating area. Um, you'd be amazed how many people don't watch where they're walking. Um, step on it. Sit on it. All of those things would be a bad thing. Don't stack objects on top of it. Um, again, stuff is heavy. It'll break it. It'll crack it. Don't expose to or use near water and other liquids. Um, don't spill things on it. Don't throw it in your bathtub. Don't dump it in the sink. Keep it away from water. Laptops and water don't mix. Don't use in temperatures below 50 degrees or above 95 degrees. Um, this is another, if it's bad for it, it'll wear it out faster. It'll, it'll damage it. Don't use damaged power cords or accessories. This is as much about your safety as it is about the laptops. If the power cord is damaged or some of the accessories are damaged, there's electrical shock risk. Um, if you see that your your power cord is you know you're pulled out or you know the wiring is exposed, don't use it. Let us know. Don't press on the LCD display. The LCD display is the monitor here. Don't press on that. You can point at it. You can touch it. Don't press on it. If you press on it, you'll you'll damage the display. 
don't use the laptop directly on your lap or other body parts. This is more of a, again, a safety thing for you. Um, the laptops, especially the bottom of them, if they've been running for a while, um, they get hot and you can easily cause yourself either at least some discomfort and there have been cases where people have burned themselves um, by having a laptop sitting on their laps. Do use the provided carrying case. We talked a little bit about this already, but um, use the case that we gave you, the case with the padding, the case that's made for this. Keep it from getting damaged as you're moving it around. Do power off the laptop and disconnect any external devices before placing it in the provided carrying case. If you just leave it on and put it in the case, now it's all enclosed in there and it's most likely going to overheat and that'll damage it. Um, the case also is not designed to hold the laptop uh, with a bunch of stuff plugged into it. So unplug everything and then shut it down and then close it up and put it in the case while it's off. Make sure it's off. Do make sure the laptop is closed before transporting it. And don't have it you know, propped open inside the case or propped open in your car. Just tighten up and, and knock it down and close it up. Do check the laptop and power cord for any damage and report the damage ASAP. If you notice that your power cord is, is frayed or you've got a crack in the casing of the laptop or the monitor is damaged, you know, check it out every once in a while. You know, not every day necessarily, but give it a once over every now and then and make sure that everything looks like it's in working order. And if it isn't, report it to us. Um, these things are under warranty. Um, so if you know it's under warranty, we can get it fixed relatively quickly. And if you delay in reporting it, you know, just our luck, the warranty will be expired by then. So if you notice there's something wrong, let us know. Um, let us know right away as soon as you notice. And that is all of our do's and don'ts. There are more do's and don'ts in the written guidelines, uh, but these are the important, the most important ones.